In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a unbound caching name server. So the first step we're going to do is run the yum install minus y unbound command. This process will take a few minutes depending on your network speed. Once it's done though, we can proceed. Now that it's installed, we can start up the service using systemctl start unbound and then systemctl enable unbound. Then we're going to edit the configuration file, which is located at etc. slash unbound slash unbound.conf. You can use Vim to do this. We're going to look for the interface line and we're going to uncomment that so that it'll read interface colon 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. This will allow connections on any interface. We also need to uncomment out the access control parameter. Um, this will allow client connections. We're going to change ours to our subnet, which is 192.168.1.0 slash 24, and we're going to set that for allow. Now we want to configure the forwarding on this name server so it doesn't have to do all the DNS lookups itself. So we're going to add a forward zone and point that to the root so the name will be dot and the forwarding address will be the dns server um, which mine is with my idm server i have a dns server on there for the main red hat server that i'm running and that is 192.168.1.40 One other thing we need to go back in and configure is the domain dash insecure line. So we'll go back into the configuration file and find domain dash insecure and change that to my subdomain, which is den.therootuser.com.
So we're going to save the file again. And now we're going to run unbound-checkconf to verify that there's no syntax errors in our configuration file. We see that everything is good. So we can continue now by restarting the unbound service with systemctl restart unbound. Now we just need to open up the firewall to allow for DNS traffic using firewall-cmd-permanent-add-service equals DNS. And then we can follow that with the firewall-cmd-reload command to restart the firewall service. Now we're just checking our IP address. And we're going to switch over to our other Red Hat server, which is server one. And we're gonna make a temporary edit to the resolve.conf file and add the name server that we just set up, which is at 192.168.1.41. Okay, we save that configuration file, and now we're going to issue the command dig.den.therootuser.com and verify that the answer is provided by our unbound server, which you see when it shows that the server is 192.168.1.41. And there we have it. We have a operating unbound caching name server. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know and um, check back later on for further demonstrations. Thank you and have a good day.